It's a smart asthma spacer that dynamically reacts to the breathing of the user. And then the mobile application, as I said, it dynamically reacts. So depending on um, how uh, heavy you know, or good your inhale and exhales are, the uh, animations move to that and there's positive reinforcement on the app. So obviously, you know, it's, tar it's targeted towards um, young kids and children with special needs and obviously their carers and parents. Um, because parents are unsure if, um, you know, they've administered the correct amount of dosage, because especially with young kids, I, I know when mine was super young, they struggled a lot with having the, the face mask on or they were screaming and the nurse would say, as long as he's breathing, he's breathing, uh, well, as long as he's screaming, he's breathing, and as long as he's breathing, he's getting the medication. But we wanted to take that, that, that scariness away from it, and we know how much kids love technology. So by sticking something in front of them on a phone, even though they may have the mask over their face, they're taken away into this little world with the moving backgrounds and the animations. And we've just added positive reinforcement and a few other little techniques in there that we've learned from specialists to sort of hide, hide the teaching and make it just fun. Okay, so we have the Smart Asthma Spacer, which is made up of, uh, of an asthma spacer, a microprocessor and a sensor. And then when the spacer is being used, the uh, sensor values are being calculated and transmitted via Bluetooth to the mobile application. Uh, which then reacts dynamically to the user's breathing. Definitely. I think it takes the stress away from the child having their medication, allows them to focus on something that's fun, which in then turn takes the anxiety away from the parent that they haven't administered, uh, haven't administered the medication correctly. At the moment we've got a working prototype and we've got a working mobile application. But we started testing it weeks prior to the coronavirus coming out, so we were only able to test it on a small group of kids within a, within a small age bracket. And we weren't able to test flaws within the app and really find out a, a good lot of feedback from a large amount of people about what the issues are, where they think that it could be better, and this is why we need to scale up and just be able to get a larger um, like a test group that we can just have hundreds of people and then say, look, this is, this is what we got back. We can look on the, the minor side of things to say, look, the, the young kids, especially sick, uh, sick kids with bad lungs, can only breathe so hard, so we're missing the, the minor value in the, in the asthma spacer. Or, you know, we've got you know, kids with autism, they're not relating to the music the music's too loud or it's too punchy or it's too sad for them. We want to be able to get as much feedback as possible to move this to a product which is ready to be marketed successfully.